So suppose utility is given by u equals the square root of x times y. Let's show that this consumer believes more is better for each good. Well, if we want to show that more is better, we need to show that more x increases utility. We also need to show that more y increases utility. So one thing we could do is show that u is increasing in x and y by looking at its slope. Now, if utility has a positive slope, it's increasing in x and y. So what we can show is that the marginal utilities are positive. So the marginal utilities, we're going to have to take the first derivative, the partial derivative of utility with respect to x, and the partial derivative of utility with respect to y. But here, since we've got the square root of x times y, I've rewritten utility in exponential form. So here's our notation, marginal utility of x is the partial derivative of utility with respect to x, and same thing for marginal utility of y. We've done this problem several times before. It should start looking familiar taking this derivative. It's going to be 0.5, x to the negative 0.5, y to the 0.5. If you don't like that negative exponent on x, you can go ahead and put him down in the denominator. What we see here is marginal utility of x is going to be positive for any positive values of x and y that I put in there. We can look at our problem and see that the derivative of utility with respect to y is symmetric. It's going to look like it does for the marginal utility of x, giving us 0.5, x to the 0.5, y to the negative 0.5. So marginal utility of y is also positive for any positive values of x and y. So what we've shown here is more is better for each good. Positive marginal utility means more is better of that good. So let's go ahead now and show that the marginal utility is diminishing for each good. right? So each good, the more I have, the more utility I have, but at a decreasing rate. So here's my marginal utility of x. As I increase x, what happens to marginal utility? I like to do this with arrows. So I put a little arrow in the denominator where my x is. So if x is getting bigger, well, it's in the denominator, so my whole expression must be getting smaller. So as x increases, the marginal utility of x decreases. Another way of showing this would be to take the derivative of the marginal utility of x and see that it's negative. Well, if I take that first derivative, it'll be a negative 0.5 times 0.5 times x to the negative 1.5 y to the 0.5. Well, this is obviously less than 0 because that negative is out in front. So I could either show uh, just by using arrows and looking at it, or I can take the derivative of marginal utility. Well, let's do the same thing for y. As y increases, the marginal utility of y decreases. I could instead take the first derivative of marginal utility. I get negative 0.5 times 0.5 x to the 0.5, y to the negative 1.5. That negative out in front tells me my marginal utility derivative is negative. 